Hi everyone, I hope you guys are keeping well. In this video, I'm gonna talk about disc barges, disc protrusion, degenerative disc changes, annular fissure, and all things related to your MRI report. These are the things that you see commonly in your MRI report. And I've prepared for you a video that I want to show you what are the chances of seeing these results in your MRI report if you're going to get an MRI. Now, in this study that I'm going to share with you um, in this video, this is the systematic review that they've studied 3,110 participants that they didn't have any back pain. They went and got an MRI report and they basically, based on their age from age of 20 to age of 80, share this result to show you what are the changes that you might see in your MRI report that they could be actually not necessarily linked to your pain. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist and the purpose of this channel is to help people uh, like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to watch this video until the end and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends and family who need this information. Let's get started. In this study, which was a systematic literature review, they have studied the imaging features of spinal degeneration in asymptomatic population. What is asymptomatic means? That means that these people who attended in this study, they didn't have any pain or discomfort, and they basically took their MRI report and like literally want to know, based on their age, what type of finding they can find in their MRI report. And um, within the tier three, um, articles reporting the imaging finding uh, basically the participant was um, that attended in these studies were 3110 asymptomatic individual and the prevalence of this degeneration in asymptomatic individual increases based on this study from 37 percent of 20 years old individual to 96 percent of 80 years old individual which means uh, you can see um, um, Degenerative changes are um, basically increasing by age and uh, massively by the age of 80. The similar finding they found in disc bulges prevalence, which is um, increases from 30% um, of 20 years old um, basically participants to 84% of those who are 80 years old of age. Similarly, they found a disc protrusion prevalence increase from 29% of those who are in their 20s and um, to up to 43% of uh, basically um, those individuals who are in their 80s. Yeah, I've added this um, basically figure for you guys, a chart that it shows age specific prevalence estimate of degenerative spine imaging finding in asymptomatic patients and i kind of highlighted the 40s which is kind of like a middle age that you can be and you can see basically if you're in your 40 and um, uh, basically you're in your 40s and um, the chances of having this degeneration in your spine is 68 uh, percent as we go down and um, this um, um, signal loss would be 40 and uh, 54 percent disc height loss 45 percent disc bulges 50%, disc protrusion um, 33%, annual fissure uh, 22%, and facet degeneration 18%, and spondylolisthesis 8%, which means if you are looking at as we age, these changes are part of our aging process. And um, as you can see, none of these people in this study had any complication and pain based on this finding. And this is um, bring us uh, something that um, they basically conclude in this study that imaging evidence of um, um, basically degenerative spine diseases is common in asymptomatic individual and increase with age. And these findings suggest that many image-based degenerative features may be part of um, uh, normal aging and unassociated with low back pain, especially when incidentally seen, which means if you get a back pain and just randomly go get your MRI report, is not necessarily always is due to the disc bulges or disc protrusion or annual fissure and etc. Which means you have to be considered that this has might be has been there for a long time and is not always associated with pain. And what they basically suggest in this study that these um, basic image finding must be uh, interpre interpreted in um, the context of the patient clinical condition, which means they should have something that linked to this finding that create some sort of conclusion that we can call their finding is linked to their injury. 
I hope you guys find this video helpful and this information. If you have any question regarding disc bulges, lower back pain, any type of injury that you have, leave me comments underneath of this video. I would be more than happy to help you. If you need further assistance, you can always book an online consultation with me that we can go through your case and basically create a customized rehab plan for you for your optimum results. If you having a disc bulge or suffering from annual fissure or disc herniation such as, I'll leave a link below for you that there's a rehab plan that you can watch, start your rehab right away and basically follow a plan that can help you to get pain free. Make sure to take a look at that video at the end of this video. If you have any question regarding back pain, disc bulges, herniated disc or anything related to your injury, Leave me a comment and I would be more than happy to help you with simple tips and exercises for your quicker recovery. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Until next week, all the best.